owns this franchise? Give me a V, E, J, M, E, L, K, A. What does that spell? I can't pronounce it! Afternoon and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zach and Colonel no one's behind the camera. Yep. Um, I don't know how to... It's either Vemelka or it's Vejmelka, which sounds a little bit cooler, but I won't hold it against him if that's not his name. Um, I was at this game, so obviously I can't really talk about Leah Hextall tonight. I can't, I can't use a disappointing loss to focus on a disappointing commentator. I feel bad. I'm really... really she's from Manitoba. But like, okay, you know what, it's not about her. I was at this game, I didn't need to listen to her. So, the Jets got shut out. One to nothing. <laughs> Are you having a laugh? Mike Ward, whole team, whole team, whole team. The entire team, we got nearly 50 shots, none of them went in. That is unacceptable. I honestly, I don't have a lot of clips tonight because it was a one nothing pissing game, but this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. This Arizona team came in with four wins. They left with five. We had beaten the Arizona Coyotes. We had, I believe, beat them 12 to one in terms of wins to loss record in this building before. And this is one of the times we lose. This is Vemelka's or Vejmelka's first shutout effort. Good job, by the way. You deserved it, my friend. You did. Good right-handed goalie. I can relate to that guy. But at the same time, we were pathetic. Just, just, just horrendous. Honestly, like, the fact that I can't get overly, like, angry at this game is pathetic because we didn't care. We got shots. But we just got quantity. Anybody can can save a shot in their stomach. And this guy saved like 30 of them that way. Can no one shoot a puck? Like... It's extremely infuriating when you see a team that shows bright spots and then just goes, Nah, I'm not going to fucking do that. Nah. Also, fucking Paul Maurice is a fucking li I thought I threw you away. I thought I threw you away. Paul Maurice is a joke and a half. Let me explain this. He said in a post-game interview, we were really missing net front presence. That is your fucking job to enforce, my good sir. You're not supposed to slide in there in the post-game and be like, oh, by the fucking way. No! Say it on the bench! Don't say it in the interview room! On the bench! You should have said that after the first period, not after the third. 0 for 6 on the power play against the worst team in the league is not fucking normal! It isn't! Louis Erickson had more points tonight than the entire Jets roster. Louis fucking Erickson, baby! Louis fucking Erickson! Seriously! Yotes literally were on life support for half a third period. Fucking just diving on any puck that moved. Anything that moves, they were diving at. They were just trying to kill the clock. There was no drive by the Coyotes in the third period. They were a dead man walking. And you couldn't put them out of their misery. Seriously. Shape the fuck up. My fucking God. This team doesn't deserve anything. Remember when I said we'll group them in groups of 10? This fucking 10 has been fucking horrific. It's been a crime scene on their fucking record. And they have no one to blame but themselves. 
I was fucking embarrassed tonight. I went to the Jets game and I'm like, okay, yeah, we should win this game like 5-1. We lost 1-0. This team should be embarrassed. Fucking ashamed of that. Again, great job, Coyotes. You played a game that you, it, in all fairness, actually probably mathematically helps you to lose it, but not nonetheless, you'll take the win. Um, we literally lost to an actual poverty franchise. Isn't that a joke and a half? Um, let's just cut to the fucking goal here, where I don't remember if it's if it's Shifley or whoever the hell is coming back, just fucking forgets that Antoine Roussel is a person that is living on this fucking earth and just lets him walk literally right on the doorstep. Reaction here. Uh, might be offside. Oh, I would look to see if that's offside. How do you let him in like that? Come on. So, Roussel scores from Louis Erickson with under three minutes to go in the second period. I legitimately, it, and the goal looked like it was scored under fucking water. It was like a slow motion car crash that somehow no one could get their stick in front of the fucking puck. Like, what the actual hell are you doing? And I love this. I love this. The woman behind me, I think we cut before this happened. I cut away before it happened. But she just yelled, and look who the fucking line is on the ice. And I'm like, y yeah. Fun fact, the entire third period, the second half of it, or at least the last eight minutes, was just me legitimately just screaming at our team because they were in the offensive zone the whole time. They didn't get any goals the whole time. Fucking Kyle Connor needs to raise the puck a lot more. Except for that one time we almost got scored on by Louis Erickson. Yes, that, except for that one time where Louis Erickson had a nice little rush chance to score on us. And I fucking rightfully yelled that I'm like, you shouldn't fucking lose that to er Louis Erickson. And the whole fucking crowd was like, yeah, yeah, he's right. Ha, we suck. And then the fucking, I feel bad. The fucking lady in front of me, she's like, well, it's not like they're playing badly. They just ran into a hot goal. You see, it's 41 to 14. It's not that bad. And I'm like, I literally deadpan fucking expression looked her dead in the eyes and said, I care more about the pucks in the net. And then just went right back to the game. So sorry, random citizen. I was a bit of a dick. But in my defense, don't tell me how we're having a good game when we're losing one nothing to the Coyotes. You, like, you know, you reap what you sow, and that, I fucking, I don't know what to tell you there. Honestly, like, I, I actually have a friend who's a Coyotes fan, uh, Coyote Central. You can check him out on Instagram, actually. Um, he runs a fan account for there. A few thousand subscribe or followers. I asked him what he thought of this game. He just wrote insane, like, absolutely insane. Um, Vejmelka, or Vemelka, um, great, great game. Again, I can't, I can't give this youngster enough credit kid played amazing honestly um as a full right goalie i always love getting to watch those goalies play because i actually get to see somebody who actually plays like how i would want to play a net because they're my fucking hand and that's so fucking rare you have no idea he was perfect at cutting off pucks at being good angle and honestly like even i could so relate to him just on those scramble plays where he's just covering up the bottom of the net and just the pucks bouncing around it was something great rebound control yes for sure um now, if I was to even give any stars of the game, I'm just going to not say, any, like, I don't, Hellebuck doesn't get one. Like, I don't care that the Hellebuck are only letting one goal. It was to the Coyotes, and, like, that wasn't a fast pass across. You can stop that. Hellebuck makes no attempt to even gain any, any depth on the pass over. So I hold him a, a decent amount accountable as well. The only player whose game I actually somewhat liked I kind of like Stastny's game, I'll say this, which is another uh, question as to why doesn't Stastny have a letter on his jersey. I don't know. I really don't know. He seems like a very good locker room leader and a guy who just leads by example and a guy who's very vocal. Um, as well, I, I'm i thankful that Dubois and Sveshnikov got time together. I wish that Connor was that on that line because if you combine the chances Connor got with Svech and Dubois' chances, I really think you get a goal past him. 
but I digress, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. But yeah, once again, uh, thank you so much. Our videos have been doing really well over the past week, especially our bomber, our, our Saskatchewan Rough Riders advancing uh, video. Not thank you. Yes, we will be doing a Chris Walby, ha having Chris Walby on the Prairie Puck podcast on Wednesday. Yep, and, and we'll be covering the East and Western final. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure when the East video will come out because I'll have to actually yeah. record and watch We'll be actually it. live at the Western we'll be final. Live! Lab. The West Final. Yes. Um, but yeah, again, once again, thank you so much to all of our amazing subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, because we appreciate that. And comment down below. Tell us you're new. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much. Don't forget to leave a like. All our socials, all that. We really appreciate all the feedback. Thanks for watching. And uh, well, I'll catch you around, honestly. In the words of Arthur Morgan, okay, I'll catch you later then.